Hundreds of people from all walks of life, including government officials, led by the Presidential Advisor on National Security Affairs, Tud Galwak, chanting songs and raising banners, carrying messages of peace and unity, as they converged at Juba International Airport to welcome the chairman of the Kidguang Agulek factions, General Johnson Olonj, Tabu Dak and his Deputy General Thomas Mabor, who left their military base in Upper Nile State, to Juba as part of the move towards implementation of the Khartoum Agreement signed between the government and Kidguang Agolek factions earlier last year. The arrival of General Johnson Olent in Juba signifies the fruits and positive results following series of negotiation that was conducted between his groups and the government in Khartoum in order to end the cycle of violence in Upper Nile State that turned the region apart for a long period of time. So come, coming of Johnson Olent to Juba, uh, is uh, a victory to us because we signed a peace agreement with uh, the SPLM in government and the implementation of that peace agreement needs uh, uh, the general. <laughs> Number of people who turn up at Juba International Airport express their joy with the arrival of General Johnson Olin to Juba, saying it would finally end the cycle of conflict in Upper Nile region. <laughs> The chairman of Agolek Factions, General Johnson Olonj, expressed his commitment and readiness to work with President Kir in order to restore peace, unity and stability in Upper Nile region. So I'm happy to go to the hotel. 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 The presidential advisor on national security affairs to Galwak said government is ready to bring lasting peace in the country through peaceful and political dialogue with all the hideout groups. خارج أي زل عمل السلا على نيل الآن في سلامة تامة من ودود الآخر الآخر في ولا على نيل الآن نحن نعكر لكم لأنه كل المواطن في على نيل في معسكر على نزوق في كل مناطق في كام في يونيمس في داخل الملكان يخرجوا يشوف بيته يرجع من تلك القديمة According to the officials, the coming of General Johnson Olin and his deputy Thomas Mabor would ensure peace, unity and stability. General Johnson Olin, being in Juba is part of implementation of the agreement that the government signed with Agulek forces in Khartoum last year. And this will ensure that this region, Upper Nile, especially Malakal, uh, witness peace and stability to this region. Johnson Olin, alongside with his forces, will be in Juba and we will be participating in the unity government. 
Last year, the government signed an agreement with the leader of Kidguang Agolek faction, General Johnson Oloin in Khartoum, to stop the war by restoring peace and security, granting amnesty to Agolek forces, training and reintegration of Agolek forces into SSPDF within a period of time, as well as addressing land disputes in the Cholo Kingdom, among others. Gore Anthony, SSBC News, Juba.